Some were angry, others concerned, and a few even pleased. Indonesians had mixed views over the release of Islamic cleric and the suspected mastermind of the 2002 Bali bombings, Abu Bakr Bashir, after he served 10 years in prison. Police say the 82-year-old was linked to the attacks, which killed 202 people and wounded many others, though he was never convicted of a direct role and denied any ties. Reuters caught up with one survivor. Abu Bakr Bashir's freedom must remain under surveillance. Basically, his freedom and his right to return home are his rights as a citizen who has served a jail sentence according to the law. But I ask that even when he is home, he must also be kept under the supervision of the authorities. This woman lost her husband in the bombings. I have already forgiven him. If I don't forgive, I can't live my life. Because if I don't forgive, this pain will continue and will affect my life. Once again, from the start, I have forgiven the perpetrators for that incident. Bashir is regarded as the spiritual leader of a jihadist network with ties to Al-Qaeda. And he pledged allegiance to the Islamic State in 2014 while in jail. Indonesia's anti-terrorism agency said Bashir will undergo a de-radicalization program. Bashir's son said his father would rest up at home at the al mukmin Islamic boarding school, where eager students awaited his arrival. Bashir founded the school in the 1970s, and its graduates have been linked to militant networks and attacks.